Hey guys, I'm Paladin, but you can call me Pal, and welcome to Pal Plays Skyward Sword. In the last episode, we, uh, we proposed, well, we were proposed to by Beatrice over there, and now, since we now, we are already promised to Zelda, we have a little mission. Um, as soon as she comes through that door, I'm just gonna let go of the string. No, I'm just kidding. Um, what we're actually doing is we're actually heading to the the Din's trial today. But before we do that, I'm gonna tell you how I arranged our inventory. First off, I have the fortified shield equipped. This is the third and final upgrade to the iron shield, and this shield has the most HP of any shield in the game, except for one. Well, actually, that one doesn't count, so yeah, it has the most HP. And also, uh, I kind of focus this one around po uh, potions that have prolonged effects, like the Stamina Potion and the Guardian Potion, which I don't think I've ever explained before. The Guardian Potion, what it does is it makes us invincible for three minutes. Well, the upgraded one does, which is what we have here. The non-upgraded one just makes us take half damage for three minutes. Now, both of these have prolonged effects that are made even longer by the potion metal. So, I think that this is a good choice since I think we'll have six or nine minutes of effects with either one. So that's pretty cool. Also, because I want to try new things in this LP, I'm using the life metal. So now we have 16 hearts. Now you might notice that I no longer have the seed pouch. Well, now that we have the bow, we don't really need it. So I stored it with Beatrice. But in its place, I got the medium quiver. And that'll allow us to carry 10 extra arrows, as you can see here. So now we can carry 30. So with all that aside, we can go ahead and jump off this cliff. And we can go to Elden. So, on our way, I get to tell you some stuff. Um, the Silent Realm that we're going to is, in my opinion, the hardest of the three. It, ever, all the tiers are really, really spread out across the mountain. And some of the some of them you can only get them certain directions like you can't go up you have to go down or you can't go down you have to go up so it makes it kind of hard especially when you're being chased and you're trying to get a tear to escape them it's kind of hard because no we don't want to go to temple entrance we want to go to volcano ascent so it just makes it kind of hard because sometimes your one and o the one and only tier that's open to you is blocked by one or two guardians. So if you're being chased, sometimes you have to take very long detours in order to get them away from the tier that they're guarding. So that's something that you really have to be smart with and you should leave some tiers open for you in case you're in a situation where you're uh, where the guardians are in pursuit of you. So anyway, Fee's going to talk to us here. We've arrived at Elden Volcano. You can use your dowsing ability to locate the, the gate to the trial. You must pass this trial in order to locate the sacred flame. And, like magic, there's the trial. Now, um, I actually know this for a fact, that the stamina potion sadly does not work when you carry over into Silent Realms. It's really b sad, but it doesn't. So, it's actually kind of worthless, sadly. So, I don't know why I have it in my inventory. I should have swapped it out for the red potion, but I didn't, so it isn't. So, let's go ahead and catch these uh, blessed butterflies. Because we, we need all of them that we can get before we finish the game. Now, I am going for 100%, but I'm not going for 100% in each item, because that's just crazy. Just crazy talk. Also, it's kind of cool how you can only target this with the harp out. Anyway, let's go ahead and press A to strum. Strum. 
and I'll shut up because I really want to hum this. Actually, I can hum this if I turn off the mic. Heh <laughs> heh. Thrust your sword into the center of the mark and open a way to the open the way to a new silent realm. Trying not to sneeze. Uh, stupid allergies breaking the fourth wall. Uh. <laughs> and there we go into the silent realm. And there, you didn't hear it, but I just sneezed. I have really bad allergies, so in the in this season, like even allergy medicine doesn't do much. Don't worry, I'll I'll take X I'll take more than I normally do before recordings in the future. I know it was gonna be this bad. Master Link. You stand within Din's Silent Realm, the third trial. It will test the limits of your power. To locate the last fl flame that will enhance your sword, you must first complete this final challenge and, ach and achieve spiritual growth once again. You got the spirit vessel. This mysterious plant represents your spirit, Link. When your vessel is full, your spirit will grow and you'll be entrusted with a new power by the goddess. Do you have any questions? No, not really. Understood, Master. Master, I await your return in the outside world. Okay, so right off. Now, there's a tier down that, that hallway, that pathway. But I want to do this the way I've always done it. And that is, you see that, that guardian right there? In fact, we're going to call them Reapers. So you see that Reaper right there? Well, he's guarding a tier. Now, I'm going to do what I always do, and I'm going to lure him out here. Walk outside of the circle. And he's going to start chasing us. Now, as soon as he's right about here, right there, I run. And we should be able to trick him into letting us by and getting the tier. There we go. That's how I always did it. It's not really the easiest way, but it's the funnest way. It, it starts it out with some dr nice dramatic tension. Who doesn't like that? Now, um, this is one of the examples that I said where you can only access this these tiers f from going up. And also, there's a really strange, pl strangely placed uh, dusk relic right there. So to displace it from that wall, from the wall, you just somersault into it. Also. Why are they called somersaults? That doesn't even make any sense. It's salty and it's summer. I don't... I never really looked at why it's called that until now. Why are they called somersaults? Huh. Anyway. <laughs> Me questioning strange things. Now, I'm going to leave this tier here. Because there are three tiers up here. And in case we're chased, I want to be able to slide down this incline and grab one of these. Also, I, I could leave this one here, but really, this guy's guarding it, so we wouldn't be able to get it. Let's see, what should we call them? Let us call them... Uh, mace men? I don't know. Okay, so what we want to do is run up here. That is a chaser right there, and the rest of them are, are lookers. So you should, if you time it right, you can, I did not time it right. Well, I'll just do this. I'll accept my defeat and run down here. If you time it right, you can end up 
on the platform without him doing anything. He can't see us. There we go. That's perfect. Oh, snap. Oh, whoa. Oh, my word. Whoa. Can we stand here? We can stand here and be perfectly safe. That's amazing. Also, we glitched him. And he's no longer showing his light. So, he's bad. Okay, let's run up here before our time runs out. Because, like it as I, as I would, we can't stand there forever. So, he's there. Now we can go and grab this tier. Right before our time runs out. And now that we're, we've, ooh, we can grab this amber, uh, this, uh, dusk relic. Are there any more? Now that we're done up here, we actually can't go any further, so we have to head down the mountain. This is an example of me saying that you can only go one direction. Did I really just reference them? Okay. Let's go ahead and jump down. It's okay if we're, if we're seen, because, you know, we're just gonna get a tier anyway. If we don't have to get seen then we won't okay now that we've gotten all of them around here the only other place for us to go actually first is uh, I thought there's a dust relic here but no what we have to do is go up through this cave this cavern and we have a choice we can either go this way and get all the tears here or yeah let's let's go up no let's get all the tiers here that that's cooler so let's go and grab this one and go over here go over to the vines right here and grab though that one grab the vine and go up and what we need to do is just jump down here and barely land on that platform and run as fast as we can over these vertebrae. Also, I really like how they changed some of the environment just to, just to uh, just for this trial. You know, like that over there. That was not there before. You could not get on that skull, but they changed it. Uh, there's one here, but let's leave that for on our way back. That makes the most sense because we're going to have to come back here. We're going to have to come back here the way we came. There is no alternate path. Or there's no loop. So we're going to have... <sighs> we're going to have to go back the way we came. That's what I was saying. Before Link rudely just jumped in the lava. I don't know what his issue was. But apparently he didn't feel like living. Or not being burned today. So we can run up here. There's a, a dusk relic. No, there's not. There, there was a dusk relic here before. I'm not going nuts. There was. Actually, while we're doing this, because it's, it's really laid back, I can tell a story. When I did this, uh, the like the first time I did this, I probably did this one for maybe 20 minutes. It took me about 20 minutes to do this, or more, and maybe about maybe. 10 or 5 of those minutes was me running away from the Guardians because I think I'd run out of time because I didn't plan my uh, my route, my route well and so like half of it was running and it led to this like epic chase all over this mountain. Like I was running up hills and uh, just so I could dive down them to um, dodge Guardians and it was just really, really neat. You could have played, like, Mission Impossible music right there, because it was just so good. It was so fun to watch. What? 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 What in the world? Um... What is happening right now? I glitched the game! I glitched it! <laughs> we actually can't get out of this because there's no hearts. And even if there were, I don't think this even hurts us. So, we're actually in the wall. 
This is crazy. Look at this. We're inside the wall. How is this even possible? This is amazing. I glitched it. Well, I'd stay here talking about how amazing that was, but I'll actually I'll have to cut back because I actually have to reset the Wii and get all of those tears over again. Actually, in the meantime, I will actually uh, grab the red potion <laughs> because that's the smart way. Okay, I'll be right back. Uh, that that's that's poetry in motion. Now I know what what take of this episode I'm keeping. Ah, oh, there, finally. Uh, I had to completely reset the game. And it was horrible. Okay, let's not ma make the same mistake again. And let's just go carefully through here. Slowly, without using any stamina. Because apparently there's a glitch in there where you can phase through the model. And it's horrible. And if this game had updates besides that one patch to fix a game-breaking glitch, I would have suggested a fix to that. Because that's pretty bad. I mean, that's really bad, and there's one other such glitch that I know of that I'll tell it, show you or tell you about it when it comes up. Actually, there's no Dusk Relic there. There's normally a Dusk Relic on that third platform, but there's not. Okay, and carefully through it again. No stamina. Well, I'll use stamina, but nothing more. Okay. Now, there should be a Dusk Relic over here. Good, there is. So, now that we've gotten these, now we can continue onward. We have to backtrack a little bit by going this way. Now, we came up from up there, so I guess this technically isn't backtracking because we're do going down here. But either way, it it's still backtracking because we're going back where we were. Now, where we need to go next is... Oh. Uh, okay, it's right there. I was like, we're running out of time. I was just a little bit worried there. There are plenty of these uh, dusk fruits. I don't know what they're called. But there are plenty of them around, so you shouldn't really worry that much on finding any. Oh. One complaint that I have is that the um, that the beacon fruits... I still don't know what they're called. Um, that the beacon fruits don't replenish stamina. Even if they... It'd be kind of nice if they replenish at least half of your stamina. Oh. A gem. Uh, a, a dusk relic. Okay. So now, the only re remaining area to go is up here. And if you notice, Link uses... Um, he gets in his animation of using the sailcloth, even though he actually doesn't have the sailcloth equipped. I'm not sure if they did that on purpose to show that, you know, he's not in the real world. But it's just kind of weird. I don't know what animation they would have done. Maybe his skydiving animation. Now, you do not want to jump in there because that is waking water. And he'll just turn around and hit you and go back to his business. So what you want to do is jump up here. Is not jump. Walk up here. And grab your tear. Now, we want to remember this area, because you can see a cave in here. And when we've gone in this this lava cave in the past, we've caught on fire and started losing hearts. So, I don't know. Well, we may get something to... I think I accidentally spoiled it there, but... We're going to get something that will allow us to go into hot areas. Actually, I want to make a different decision. I want to run over here. I think there's a dusk relic. There is not. You know, there used to be. In previous runs... Is there anything down there? No, there's not. Okay. In previous runs, there have been am uh, dusk relics on that island. I can even prove it with uh, video evidence if you don't... If you uh, don't believe me. I won't put it on screen right now because you guys are trusting. You guys trust me. Don't you? Please say yes, because I think I've earned your trust. I've been upfront about stuff. Gonna run up as far as we can. Oh, that's the last one. And um, 
before we do this, um, we're about to have an epic chase. You know why? Because we're about to go in the ra waking water because of this cutscene or this text. So we're about to go in the waking water. Unless I can hold the stamina button and run. No. No. I don't know how jump we jumped there, but it's a glitch and it saved our, our hide. That was amazing. We jumped and it saved our lives. Because as soon as we would have landed, this guy would have been like, nope, uh-uh. You're... That... This is not your day, bro. But he didn't. So it isn't. So... Sweet. We got a new lease on life. And enough of a lease on life that we can just run over here. We could even walk. We could walk like slow speed and we'd still make it. How happy day. Look at us. All grown up. And completing the trial, where our biggest difficulty was a glitch. <laughs> and what I what I spoiled earlier, so it isn't as anticipated. You got the fire shield earrings. With these, you can stand any heat without a sweat. This is one of the three sacred sacred gifts left by the goddess. And with that, we've done it. With And my timer shows 31 minutes, even though we've probably been recording for 20. Welcome back, Master. I conjecture your newly acquired fire shield earrings will allow you to safely travel in extremely hot areas. I recommend con continuing your search for the sacred flame. So... That's it going to be it for this episode. Uh, next episode... Oh, also, thank you so much for watching. It's been a blast, this episode has been. Suddenly I'm Yoda. But next episode, we're going to go into that lava cave that I pointed out earlier. And we are going to go into the cave within the lava cave to see possibly another lava cave. Now, it would be crazy if that one had a cave in it as well. I'll see you th I'll see you guys then for another pal plays skyward sword oh sorry I I should have mentioned that I also um, swapped out our stamina potion for a heart potion plus plus okay this time truly I'll see you guys then